Here we are, we're at the, uh, the LA Expedition Hackathon. Here's the team. Introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Po <laughs> Alright, hi Po Chang. Hi, Chen Li. Chen Li, alright. Fuck. Alright, Michael and Jimmy Alright. This is our team. We're here to win this, the hackathon. Yeah. We're the first team to come here. <laughs> yeah. How's it coming so far? The food is good, but <laughs> the program is not good. <laughs> I'm struggling with with uh with most of it. The NDBS, NDBI, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Terrible thing. What's eating with the coats? Uh, dinner time. Yeah. <laughs> Mark's over there, hard at work. Hi. <laughs> A lot of work to do for the rest of the night, but we can be fun. Yeah. Fight on! Security Risk Index, go. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Kyle Weaver. I'm a Navy pilot and uh, grad student at uh, USC. I'd like to welcome uh, you to my team here with the, US, the rest of my uh, USC teammates. Thanks for having the uh, hackathon. Our concept was uh, to create a food security risk index, the key word being risk, uh, to, uh, to be able to develop the, uh, the uh, predictive tool that, uh, that national level decision makers and uh, humanitarian planners could use to monitor, predict, uh, and assess any of the changes that may occur based on a, criteria, a set of criteria uh, you know, that affect food security as well as regional stability. For example, in population movement, uh, two of the, the data sets we used were refugees as well as tourism. An increase in refugee movement out of the country would indicate a lower level of stability. Uh, an increase in tourism would, would indicate just the opposite. <clears throat> the things that, uh, that we looked at, we used a uh, linear regression model to, uh, to assess 11 data sets uh, over a period of 13 years in order to come up with a, a food security uh, index for Morocco. Uh, uh, yeah, yes, actually uh, we introduced 11 dimensions uh, for each of the data source or data set and we're trying to build the uh, regression model to calculate the weighting for each of the uh, features then to uh, construct our index. Can you maybe talk about how policy maker might use the index to do something? Absolutely. This ties into the, uh, the adaptability, the prediction uh, capability of the model. Uh, by, by adjusting the, the factors, you can uh, see how uh, a small change in uh, potentially the rainfall, which would affect crops, which would affect the, uh, uh, the movement of the people, might affect uh, cross-border uh, uh, policies and, and neighbor uh, neighbor relations. So all of those are part of the uh, the development like powers. Food security risk index. <laughs> Recording that all time. Cool. Nice. Hi, Don. Meet you next time. <laughs>